Nobody rocks a red lip like Taylor Swift. I mean, she even named a whole album after her signature shade. Okay, so red is more about heartbreak than makeup, but still, with Taylor's re-recorded version of the album finally here, we thought it would be the perfect time to test out three scarlet lipsticks approved by the pop queen herself. Trust us, you're gonna wanna add to cart. Okay, so no discussion of Taylor's red lip obsession would be complete without a mention of this, NARS Dragon Girl. It's a shade I'm wearing right now, and Taylor's name-checked it in a bunch of interviews. As far as red lipstick, but um, one that really can't go wrong is Dragon Girl by NARS. NARS describes this as a siren red, which is very true. It's bright, it's bold, it's got pink undertones, and it looks good on a wide variety of skin tones. Okay, so unlike the usual lipstick bullet, this is a crayon, which means it's super easy to draw on around the edges of your mouth, even if you skip a lip liner. On the flip side, it does mean you're gonna need a sharpener. But, you know, small price to pay. Confession time. I actually know this particular shade all too well, you might say. Um, I'm actually gonna be wearing it at my upcoming wedding, and I picked it because it lasts a super long time, and crucially, it fades evenly over the course of the day, unlike some lipsticks, which leave like that sort of clown-like ring around the outside of your mouth. It goes on matte without being super drying, and in a lot of lipstick tests I ran, it proved to hang on pretty well and not transfer, which is important when you're getting married. Pretty good. Next up, we've got a true beauty classic, Max Ruby Woo. Taylor once called this cult favorite blue-based red a staple, saying she was the last person to discover it. That actually might be true, because everyone from Rihanna to Angelina Jolie to Janet Jackson loves Ruby Woo. So this red is said to be universally flattering. As you can see, it's definitely deeper and darker than Dragon Girl. It is extremely matte, so you are gonna wanna exfoliate your lips and maybe even put on a balm before you apply. But once it's on, it's gonna stay, stay, stay. <laughs> That's a Taylor song. <laughs> So back in 2010, Taylor landed a CoverGirl contract, which meant that for several years she wore the brand's lip colors in campaigns and on red carpets. A particular favorite that she actually shouted out in an interview at the time is this. Hot number 305. There's a lot to love about this really bold cherry red. First of all, it is an absolute steal at about $6. It's also infused with shea butter, which means that it's a lot less matte and drying than the two formulas we've tried earlier. And while it might be a drugstore buy, they clearly didn't skimp on the pigment. Now, the branding's changed a little bit over the years. Once included in the Lip Perfection line, it then became the Colorlicious range, and now it's included as part of the Exhibitionist line but the shade has stayed the same. Well, there you have it. Three classic T-Swift approved red lip colors at a variety of price points, all well worth your shopping dollars. Happy red season.